Louis, the 50 yard warrant, and just what's the verdict? Good. There's no, there's no bad way to describe it, to be honest with you. Um, I think it makes it even worse when we've put everything on the line physically. It's a quick turnaround from Monday. And the quality wasn't there today as much as we like. But the one thing the boys did do is they put everything on the line for the club. And uh, as much as I'm good, I couldn't be more proud. So many uh, late finishes already in this year's competition, and that corner came, and you felt it could have been the same, it just wasn't to be. Yeah, I suppose it wasn't to be. One thing I do have with this group is confidence in that we can we can we can get through any game and any, any result, and we've shown potentially the best character group could show at this level from what we've achieved this season today just shows you what football is that sometimes the green did not go away um, so yeah. and it might mean the season finishes on a sour note but it has been a very productive year for the club hasn't it productive is an understatement isn't it it's we've been promoted and promoted yes okay the gate of the season is finished but promoted in top spot looking very good I'm the of Oz for so, you know, 2020. That is an unbelievable achievement. And of course, we're a bit good that fans couldn't have been with us as much as we would have liked this season. But what would you say going into next season for us? What has happened? I would just say, just thank so much for the support that you've given from it's like your fault. Yes. You've, the, the, the fans and everyone associated with the club in terms of the committee members, the staff, the owners, they've, they've done everything they could to make sure that we felt the support and, and, the, and we, did feel, we did feel the support all along the way and I'm proud as, as captain of what the group of players have put on this season because we don't do it for ourselves, we do it because we recognise that we're doing it for a great cause which is the club and the community and everyone connected to it. Talented people get things in life, some things. Hard working people get some things in life. But when you've got a talented group of people who work as hard as we do and respect one, each other, one another and come together like we have, that's why we've achieved what, what we've achieved with the support of with the club, which is, I, I can't thank them enough. And uh, I suppose on behalf of the, the group, the playing group, we can't wait to, to be back on the pitch in front of them so we can do them proud, we can represent them and we can give them something to cheer about because we have given them something to cheer about from afar but we can't wait for them to be every step of the way on my next step in my next journey, my next chapter right, right alongside us. And on a final note, as I say, season's finished. Is there anything else you'd like to add before we finish? I would just like to say, first of all, thanks to Thanks to everyone that supported what we experienced last weekend was unbelievable, and it was it, it, it showed how how good this football club is and what a place it is to play its football, and that comes from what happens on the pitch behind the scenes and, and the support that we get, which is unbelievable. And I just want to kind of put on that word, thanks for the huge support, and then turn into the to the management and the group of players. I just want to thank them for everything they've done because. They're a, special, they're a special group of people that have worked tremendously hard and we've reaped the rewards and promotion and winning the FA Vols for the first time for this football club, which once again, like I say, is an unbelievable football club and an unbelievable place to be. So I just want to thank them for that and I just want to say that it's obviously a man who represent this club. So cheers.